It is 6.56 in the morning central time. And uh, I've already dropped off my load in uh, Temperance, Michigan, which is right on the border with uh, Ohio. The uh, I was scheduled to deliver at 10, and uh, I am empty. I sent in my empty call. I checked my outbox. It went right away. So uh, then I got an instant reply message from their system saying, hey, we got your empty call. We're working on your next assignment. So we'll see how long that takes. Today is Friday. So central time, it is 7.52. So it's been almost an hour since I sent my empty call that actually went through. <laughs> the, uh, if I start far away, maybe it'll uh, stay focused and maybe it won't. So it's been, uh, it's been about an hour. And there you go, 646 is when it was sent, so in, well, it's, uh, I'm sorry, 753, so it's actually been over an hour that I sent that empty call. And it probably, uh, this is kind of unusual, but uh, I think they're fighting, well, fighting, I think they are having to work uh, a lot of vacations for this upcoming week. I don't know. I'm speculating. I'm a speculator. Um, typically, like if this was a Wednesday or a Thursday, I might not mind so much. But this is Friday. This is the day I go home. So the longer they take to give me you know, a work assignment, because I have no pre-plan. I can't just like start driving. I'm here outside the uh, co-signee's uh, building where I dropped off waiting to hit that road where that car uh, went by so I can start rolling down the road with wherever they need me to go. So I sit staring at my inbox waiting for a work assignment to show up hoping to get somewhere that brings me close to home. Because the, because uh, there's a couple ways this can turn out. One is, is that I end up getting home Saturday morning, which may not be necessarily a big deal because I do that, I've done that before, as long as it, but if it delivers too far away from my home, I may have to leave Sunday to get there to be able to deliver on time on Monday if it's got a Monday delivery time. So these are the kind of things you, uh, I mean, th these are the things that I struggle with are Fridays. <laughs> um, everything else is cake. I'm just trying, I want to get home on Friday. So if I have to leave on Sunday, it's not so big a deal, but if I get home on Saturday and then leave on Sunday, one, I won't get my 34-hour reset. Two, I don't get to spend much time with my family. So these are the, uh, the things that make me question what I'm doing. But, uh, I know the uh, fleet managers and CSRs are working diligently to take care. I mean, they've when you've got, what, 1,500 drivers? I don't know how many. There's a lot of drivers that they have to manage and get loads and, and arrange vacations and all kinds of stuff. So I'm but one of many, depending on other people. And I know they, they do their job the best that they can and I appreciate that it's just this is one of those the unfortunate side effects of truck driving is every once in a while this kind of situation occurs where you are ready to work and there is no 
work right now. I'm sure there's work, it just hasn't been sent to me. And another thing truck drivers have to face is not making any money while they sit. Because I, um, I don't know, may, do you get detention if you are sitting and waiting for a work assignment? I don't know. That's a curious question. I mean, I wonder at what point... At uh, a certain point, I'm going to, I guess, make a phone call if it gets too drastically long of uh, a time period. But I wonder... It makes me scratch, you know. I've never thought of that before. Because, I've, you know, I've never really... This is the longest I've ever waited for a work assignment once I've sent in an empty call. Um, most people, other Maverick drivers that are delivering at the same location, they go, hey, where are you heading next? And says, do you got a, or they say, do you got a pre-plan? And I'm like, no, I, I rarely get a pre-plan. And uh, uh, so I don't know if it's just an anomaly where I've gotten very few pre-plans or if it's just that uh, they're confident in getting me my next assignment as soon as I send in my empty call. Anyway, just a, a, a short... So this way, Friday's video is a little bit longer than normal. <laughs> I know Friday videos tend to be shorter because I'm concentrating on getting home versus stopping and shooting video. So I'm grateful that I didn't have to wait until 10, but the only... Th the difference is is that um, if I would have delivered at 10, that would have been fine as well because I wouldn't have started my clock until 10 and therefore allowing me to get home today even if it's like 10 at night. Um, but with me dropping off my load at 7 this morning, I don't have a... a uh, run the risk of running out of hours depending on the location and uh, driving conditions on the way to wherever I need to go. So anyway, we'll wait and see what happens and what I get. Who wants to get home on a Friday? I, I don't. I'm glad they parked this train here. <laughs> I was, uh, I just finished 
chaining and tarping my sheet steel load. And as I was, I mean, as I was pulling out to go across those tracks that are right in front of me, the front of the train and I met here and I'm like, well, I gotta let the train go. And now the train has stopped. My clock says it'll take five hours and nine minutes to get to where I need to go. And my drive, what time I have left to drive according to the hours of service the Department of Transportation has given me, uh, six hours and one minute. And it is counting down. I, there's no rest breaks that will reset that for today because I'm now on my 14 hour clock. So it'll continue to count down and my time to stay, to get to my destination will stay the same. So pretty soon those two times may merge and that wouldn't be good. There's a, uh, okay, so the train goes all the way down there. This is the only way out of this facility is that entrance right there. Everything else is blocked off. Um, there is a sign here that says, hey, if this is blocked more than five minutes, call this number. So in a couple minutes, I'll be calling that number saying, hey, this uh, railroad crossing is blocked. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to do anything other than somebody getting on the radio saying, hey, guys, what's taking so long? Hurry up, move that train. And it's raining. I don't mind the rain. Um, I got. I was allowed to tarp indoors, and it, I think it was because of the weather. They asked us to tarp outside, weather permitting. Well, the weather did not permit it, so I went inside. Or I mean, I stayed inside, and chained and tarped. So we'll see what happens. I'm. This is the, this is what frustrates. <laughs> you think you're like you know you get on the the cusp of hey running out of time. The last thing you need is something like this train that's now backing up, stalling my journey. So based on now it's backing up, I might be out of here in like ten or fifteen minutes. They're killing me. They, they're just teasing me. Maybe they figure as long as the train moves a little bit, that isn't considered blocking the tracks. Oh well, what can you do about it? I've organized my videos into playlists. I've got one for daily drives, one for the time when I was in training, and also one for special projects, which is just getting off the ground. If uh, you're unable to click on any of these links, please see the video description below, and those links will be contained in the video description for you to utilize. If any of my truck driving videos with Maverick have helped you make up your mind to drive with Maverick, I'd appreciate it if you'd give my name to your recruiter as a referral. Every little bit helps my family. And again, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit that now. Thank you.